kitchen? They're pushing me out of the way. Oh, there is water in there. They're alive! They'll starve without the water, so we just need to give them a basic bath. Oh, I just got a whole bunch of experience points. It's because of all the shotgun shells that just spammed in there. Everybody, welcome back to Snet. It's <laughs> dropping <laughs> too many skittles! <laughs> oh my god! Are you saying they're shockwave babies? Apparently! They're really pushy. It's impossible oh to gosh. get out of here. They're really I'll pushy. I'll save you! Boom! They're everywhere! No, don't explode that TNT. This episode of Snet is not all about squid in a tiny box. With water. But instead- oh look, I got an ink sack. Execution. Yeah. I'm gonna make it. Let them be free. <laughs> they are free. Now they're all down there. They all escaped down the water. They're gonna get. Oh, look at all of that. Oh my gosh. Look at all the ink sacks in there. There's like piles of them. God. They're escaping. Let's see how many I'm I got. Out, I'm sending out the horde. More than two stacks of inks. There's another one. Oh, there's the horde is moved down here. Hang on, I got this. I got this. Move out of the way, Skittles. All right. While they finish working down there, we have been working on the city and some more. There's a lot of little stuff we did. We went ahead and fixed uh, Skittles' big boo-boo from- Oh, mending laser. Oh my gosh, they're in here! They're in the- they're in the bottom of the arena! They're everywhere! That's because the water- look at this! They're everywhere! <laughs> the Autobots totally have a problem with the pipe on- the pipes on this side. <laughs> they're in the ghetto is what they are. So this is the Autobot side. It's not as nice as the Decepticon side. It has squid. And a, a leak. Not for long. Unfortunately. Um, we had, we put this here. We opened it up because we wanted to keep the natural caves, but we haven't used anything yet. We're actually going to put the squid in here, I believe. Is that a squid spawner? I think this one is. There you go. You can put water in here. This is where the squid will be spawned. Oh, don't kill them, Skittles. This is the uh, Sharktacon pit. There you go. Eventually. Uh, I don't think they like fire skittles. They might have a thing against it, actually. Alright, does anybody have a water bucket? I do, here. Nope. Don't go TNT fishing, it's not, it's not healthy for fish, or you. Here we go, water. Oh god, I'm sucked <laughs> into the hole! Oh, no! <laughs> no! You're stuck now, Soundwave. Oh, there oh. you go. Ah. In retrospect, perhaps I should have waited to spawn the squid until after we had created the pool. Fire! Oh, they're like attacking me up in the air here. I'm out of the pit. Oh my god. No, not that much. We only need one blast. Not even. They're not that mean. They're Sharktacons. They're just doing what comes naturally. So this is the shark to combat, totally. So who's gonna be chronic? Speaking of which, I need to tell him that. Oh, that didn't sound very good. They're all dead, though. They're all dead. All of them. Oh, wait, except for that green guy in the back. Except now he's in front of my face. Shark yeah, tacons are all dead. Alright, I need to 
need to get a water bucket as well, and I'm gonna get this water. Thanks. Here, I got it for ya. Okay. Thank you. God. Yeah, there you go. Fill in the bottom row, and then we'll just put the water on top of it. Like that. Oh, look, perfect. Except for this side. There we go. Perfect. We're like really good at this water stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't blow away the interdiction torches. They're not like regular torches. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Bob with us. Uh, um, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna do something right quick. So that's the shark to come pit, everybody. This is, uh, obviously the... This is the uh, underneath the thing. We went ahead and covered it up so no more lava falling from the sky, which is nice. The roof's a little bit shorter, but we can deal. It's only four tall now. Uh, oh, nice big lava window right there on the Decepticon side. The uh, entrance, as you can see, has been fixed, thanks to Time Lord mostly. And then Skittles is put in. This is where we started with the lava. And then we ended up putting more up there because I liked it. Uh, you have an access tunnel here to the lanterns, which we put obviously four on each side now instead of just the inside one. And this access is the Autobot side down here. And my bird is quite happy that I am doing recordings now. So she's chirping incessantly. And uh, from here, go outside. Boop. We come in, um, we're probably gonna have maybe like a little dock here or something. We should open this up, Skittles. This would be like one way that people get in here. That way it's like a thing. I'll just have to put some water bucket. Boop. Oh, perfect. I fixed it with one thing. I will, I will. I just wanted to open this up a little bit so you can actually like get in here. Um, so it was a, a way to get in. And then you come in, that's the Decepticon side. This is the Dumbbot side. Which is the side we showed uh, the other day. Boop. But now there's an actual entrance in here, sort of. There's not even a door. We didn't even bother to put a door for the Autobots. They just... It's a hole. Uh, this is the side I, I actually did this. I just went ahead and finished all the sandstone in here because I couldn't stand it being all mixed matched. It was dirt and stone. Uh, we still, uh, we do want to put some more entrances down here. Same on the other side because we want, uh, like, like the shark decons and everything, we want to have traps actually in our gladiatorial pit. And uh, I had the idea that one of the game modes, if we ever play on this map, is that you can actually, um, they can fill the bottom layer in with lava. And what I think we might do is we might put some pistons in here, and then put lava on the back of that, and then it'll just leak in the lava. That way it pushes you, you have to parkour up here. Parkour around a bit. And the Autobots, unfortunately, they have a hard time. I think their parkour is a lot harder, but it was it was an accident, really. Oop. There we go. So they can access most of the, I think that pillar over there is the only one you can't jump to. So it's sort of useless. I made this jump once. That's it. I think you can make it from the other side as well, from the Decepticon side. Made it. Almost. Make it from here. Oh, hi, I made it. 
it and then I fell off. So we're having lots of fun. We're building like crazy and just doing a lot of fun stuff. Um, Nat. Yes, sir. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't know if the people will, uh, but you remember those gladiator fights that myself and Skittles had? Yes. We could, uh, record them afterwards when Rena's done. We can do that. Yes, yeah, so everybody watching this on YouTube, I will actually put links in the um, the last video and then this video because Skittles, I think, recorded most of those fights. I wasn't there for them. I was offline. Um, I left the server up for them to build, and what did they do? They fought each other. Um, <laughs> and I think I got the last one, so that one will be uploaded as well. I'll probably put links on that too. We also we have a sheep. He's our pet, and he likes the uh, to eat our wool. And stuff, cause he's a he's like a cannibalistic sheep, right? That's why we like him. Sheepabilism. <laughs> uh, so here is one of the pixel art that Skittles was talking about. There's one of the pixel art. It's a giant, cute little prowl. You can see him from in there, and they also built some more. This is like the Metal Gear stuff that Skittles did. There's also a, I forgot what it's called, a thing from Doctor Who, TARDIS, yes. I got that just before you typed it. There's a block missing. Did an Enderman steal that block? Oh my gosh. So that's right over here, past this tunnel, and by the space bridge. So there is, I don't know if we showed that, but there's a teleporter in there. There's, um, for when you got out, there was a depository, so you put an item in there. And it this pumps them out, and then there was going to be a checkpoint in here. They get cookies. You can spit cookie cookies at them. We'll do a separate video of you spitting cookies at me that I will link to if they get the questions correct. And as you can see, it just pumps them up into here. It hasn't popped. Oh, there's a mining laser in here. Skittles, I found your gun that you neglected the other day. This is where they were making computer things. And that was before they did the fighting, but they were still playing around. They made some computers and they couldn't figure out how to make them work. Yes, yes, it didn't work, so they blew them up. Um, I'm not sure. Guess whose idea the TNT was? They had commands about tacos and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we ever showed them this finished thing, so. Speaking of which, this end is not finished. There's dirt and cobble all out the wazoo. But the actual pathway is finished. Beautiful. put those in over here but they haven't yet so this is not finished on this end either just little things here and there I don't think we've been in the uh, factory since last time here's one more look at those Metal Gear characters in case you want some YouTube cookies from Skittles he is on YouTube and that is three-quarters of the episode right there just showing off what you guys did since the last episode Let's 
So what are you at now? Oh, 15 minutes. I'm right at the door. I'm just admiring our work. <laughs> I need to finish the skyboxes. I need to put some um, things inside of them. I need to put metal doors here. What happens if a squid falls in lava? It dies immediately. Burns. That's what happens. Yes, it uh, dies very quickly. And they drop all their ink sacs outside of the lava, interestingly enough. Squid-pocalypse! Or Sharktacons, as we would hope it to be in our texture pack. Alright, this is another game mode in the arena. You guys, come up top. It's one layer of squid. The sheep is totally loving this. Look at that. Hang He's on, hang wild. on. I'm, I'm coming to see this. I'm coming. It's so funny because they don't actually take damage. They just sort of slide across the floor. They're like little bullets. And then there's one guy that's stuck inside the Decepticon logo. <laughs> Squid Pocalypse. Oh my god, that is hilarious. This is absolutely hilarious. Try fighting in this, right? Can you imagine running yeah. around and you get pushed away and it's like, Darn it, this squid is gonna get me killed. And then they fall in the lava and they die. Except they don't fit in the lava, they just slide right over it. It's funny, because it's only one block deep wide. That's really funny. They should be suffocating, but... They're not, they don't. They just sort of slide across the floor. So confused. See? There's... Oh. Except one one is falling is getting into the auto oh there's two of them stuck in the Autobot door over there. Uh, uh, there's some of the Decepticon side too. God. They might be there for a while, everybody. Alright, let me get a gun out. Something that doesn't destroy the environment. Environmentally Blunderbuss. friendly. Blunderbuss. It's a shotgun. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna take one from downstairs. Cause I don't know. I how to got find one right here. It. Yeah. Oop. Oh, we have some friends in here. They're stuck because of the interdiction torches. There you go. And you're stuck. Yes, K on. Yes, sir. We assume it's Kaon anyway. This guy's stuck now. Yeah, got nothing. This is where the entrance to the Autobot side was. Sort of destroyed it with the squid though. Oh, that's a musket with a bayonet. It's another blunderbuss. All right, give me a moment. Some of them are suffocating or dying. I think you just shot them. Yeah, it's just lagging out and taking a while to die. Blunder. Do I need coal or anything like that? No, just incredibly just load it. You're not dying. Yeah, it takes a while, doesn't it? You have to be like on the same level as them, because you can't. Apparently, you you can only shoot horizontally with this gun. No, I can shoot up and down. All right, I'm just having lag then. Too many squid on screen at once. They're vanishing when I hit them. Uh, let's try muskets. Here, I'm gonna try muskets because. 
It seems like sometimes the shots are really good. He's dead. It may just because we, they're walking so fast, they're not where we think they are on the screen. Probably. There we go. I got a couple kills. Got three that time. <sighs> Look at them I'm go. They're out. really fast. They're like ice skating. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Squid. Hit any of them. Well, we're getting to the. We're getting rid of them. That's the important part. Oh my god, they're flying! Are they? <laughs> they're flying into the air! Look, they're up here! I don't see they're them! Going up. They're going up! Oh my god, they just went at light speed! Okay, I think you just saw something that I didn't see. Oh my god, what the hell is this? It just went all Enterprise on me. <laughs> I think you may be seeing squid ghosts. <laughs> this is like totally a game mode, man. Squid hunting. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh, Wait, he, put, they are... he put a thing in! Skittles put a thing in! He did a- he did a what? Oh, I love it! Oh my gosh! It's fantastic! <laughs> this is awesome! Yeah. You should have a little chest back here that they keep everything in. Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god. Awesome-tastic. That's awesome! Yay! Great end to the episode, Skittles! Pat on the back! Everybody, thank you for watching yeah. this episode of Snet, which went by in like a minute. Um, thanks to the squid. And you have a wonderful, wonderful evening.